a Life Story Foundation is going to be telling you today about how to get proper nutrition to your person with ALS. We're going to be giving him lots of vegetables, but due to the fact that he can't chew or swallow anymore, we're going to have to do a little bit to make them a little bit more digestible for him. We are going to be putting all of these vegetables and ingredients that you see into a smoothie. Some people call them feeding, some people call them protein, shakes. Kevin likes the term smoothie, says it makes him feel a little bit less like a farm animal. So we're going to put all of these vegetables into this little cup so it's easy for him to drink. You might want to edit. When we're talking nutrition with ALS, uh, more and more research has been coming out about how important it is to make sure that you're preventing the inflammation, um, any side effects that the food, and you can actually use the food as the healing ingredient. We really try to be vigilant about what goes in Kevin's body. Um, he no longer has gluten, sugar, uh, he is vegan, uh, other than a little bone, uh, a bone broth every now and then so that he can feel proud about himself. Uh, but it is so imperative that you keep inflammation down, that you're feeding them all types of fruits and vegetables and getting all the proper nutrition. When Kevin lost the ability to chew and swallow, that didn't necessarily cut off his nutritional needs. So. In order to make sure that you're getting the proper balance, you're gonna to wanna to include some healthy fats, um, some not any processed foods, and just stick to really fresh produce, juices, bone broth. Uh, you can include coconut oils, um, and just kind of play with it so that they get a variety of nutrition like you would on a day-to-day -day as well. Easy isn't really our forte, I mean, this is, uh, one intentional area that I can really improve his quality of life. So as opposed to just getting a can of Ensure that has so many um, artificial preservatives, some of the fat can be damaged along the way in the processing. Um, so they're, just to get the most cleanest, healthiest option, you're better off just making it yourself. When Kevin was first diagnosed in 2012, he was at a healthy 150, 160 pounds. Um, he, as he had trouble chewing, had trouble with the choking, because you're losing all of your muscle functions that's helping you chew and swallow. When Kevin quit the ability to being able to chew and swallow, he was down to nearly, I would say 120 pounds. He was sickeningly skinny. And the more I see this um, in the ALS community, that people will wait. Uh, it's scary. It's scary to go through a procedure. It's scary to put a tube in. It's scary to give up that option of eating a hamburger if you want to. But if you can get ahead of that and get the training to where it's not in a under duress situation and you can actually get that nutrition into you, you're gonna be doing yourself such a service by getting ahead of that and getting the peg tube right away before you're down to 120 pounds and you're trying to put that weight back on because that is hard. Um, lucky for us, Kevin is happily married and you get that comfy weight back on and then he transitioned right into being a dad so he got that extra dad bod weight and now he's at a good, I'd say, 183 pounds. Some important components that you're gonna wanna include in your smoothies are obviously the fresh fruits and vegetables. You can have fresh juices that you can juice yourself, which we'll show you as well. You'll have a protein powder, uh, which we get from GNC. It's a 1340. It has 1,340 calories for every two scoops. And you're going to want to also include some healthy fats. And you don't have to do all fresh. Um, there, through the pandemic, we found it's hard to find fresh produce, uh, fresh avocados or blueberries. You can do um, just the Walmart grocery freezer section and get any kind of mixed berries. You can get blueberries, chopped spinach, kale. So don't just limit yourself to fresh if you can't find fresh. So one of the most important things that you can do to make sure that they are gaining the weight is to really track the calories that they are ingesting. One way that we can control that is through the GNC um, protein powder that we provide. Two of these scoops is 
1,340 calories. So it really helps us to go through and write down within the smoothie recipe that we're making, how much of each thing that we are including so we can get an accurate calorie count for Kevin. One thing that you can then do is take how, how many days a smoothie blender will last you and then divide that up. So if you are feeding um, your pails over three days and you know that you have X amount of calories, you can really tell how much calories is in each smoothie. One, um, one thing that we found is throughout the day, Kevin was still getting a little hungry a couple months back. So we also supplemented what was called a casein um, and it's a powder that helps you feel fuller longer. So that way um, it would kind of last a little bit longer in between smoothies so he didn't feel like he was just constantly hungry all the time. Uh, Kevin no longer tastes, uh, but he does prefer the vanilla. And, and this is a strange thing too, is the chocolate uh, something in the coloring or the flavor component really messed with Kevin's digestive system. So that um, made him constipated for a long time. And that's the only thing that we could trace it back to was the difference was between the vanilla and the chocolate flavoring. So it's not for flavor, but he does prefer the vanilla. Our smoothie recipe includes seven of these cups. So this is the, the last ingredient that I do use because you'll want to have your smoothie pretty blended. So all the vegetables, um, all the juices are all incorporated and it's very finely ground. And then you put this in, otherwise you're pretty much mixing concrete at that point. We're gonna be getting into more of the feedings when we have Kevin, uh, but right now I'm gonna just show you a little bit of the basic anatomy and why it is important to blend that up as fine as it does. Uh, this is what we call the plunger itself. This is the area that you're gonna pour the smoothie into and it'll tell you the accurate amount of cc's or ounces at the um, top of each. So that way you can tell, but it's, as we go, we just fill up, fill up, plunge, fill up and plunge. And it's usually about four of these, uh, which will equate to eight ounces um, or 240 cc's. And when you get the smoothie through, um, the first place it has to go through is this tiny hole. So you know if you have the frozen spinach is not um, strained enough or you get a blueberry skin, it's probably gonna get caught in there. As you plunge it through that, it still has to go through, um, this clip we leave open, but then we can close it to take it out of Kevin. But then it has to go through a even tinier hole um, to get into Kevin's stomach. So the smallest granule can get into that. Sometimes even strawberry seeds uh, can really mess with it. So just make sure you're blending it very smooth. As you do your juicing, as you do your blending, you can strain things through so you can catch a lot of the seeds that will help you prevent from having to do this. Um, it is so hard to plunge. Sometimes I have to plunge coffee to go through this. So you know um, it's tough. We'll, we'll get into that. So this is a great, a great tool to have at your side too. You can actually use this information or these smoothie recipes, even if you don't have ALS, it's good for anybody with a G-tube, so. Another pro tip, make sure the blades are in. Now this is no sugar added, any nut milk that is soy free. Um, this one also is 100% vegan, low saturated fat, lactose free. And a great healthy fat. If you don't have any fresh avocados, it's always creamy peanut butter. Again, pro tip, creamy peanut butter. If you don't want to listen to this, enjoy some of our royalty-free jazz music. And from here, it's really just going back and forth between uh, the protein powder itself and um, also adding in a little distilled water or any other fresh natural juices so you get it to the right consistency. So you'll kind of want it about to a milkshake consistency. Then, like any proper chef would, you gotta taste your product. Hmm. 
So for more tips and tricks on how to live with ALS and how to get your person with ALS to have proper nutrition, like and subscribe below to follow for more interesting content just like this here. We will also be showing you how to do the tube feeding, so make sure you click subscribe and the bell below. Cheers.